What is up, everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good day. Wait. Good day. Good evening. Oh my God, I'm losing. You see what happens when you take one day off from work? Well, when you start vacation, you lose track of time. It's six o'clock. I am fresh out of a meeting, a little metaverse meeting. It went very well. As you know, Lux Lions is going to be in the metaverse. We have signed the biggest deal in the metaverse history for XRP NFTs. Check out the Discord. But listen, I am not going to promo it just yet. We'll get into that later. But listen to these headlines that we're going to go over. We got a significant development on the XRP ledger. Let me say that again. We have a significant development on the XRP ledger. We got a new Ripple partner. Let's discuss. How about Jed's Bounce? What's going on over there? We covered it this morning. It was down. We haven't seen any sales today. It's 6.30. June 30th, he hasn't sold. I'm getting nervous. What is he doing, folks? We don't need him to go on his little cold streak where he stops selling. We want the man out once and for all. Let's go over that as well. Now... As we always do, we head over to Live Coin Watch and we're going to discuss what's going on in the market because things are getting pretty spicy out there. Bitcoin, $18,814. Folks, it's going down. It is going down. I got a new prediction for Bitcoin. You ready? Sit back. Bitcoin's going anywhere from ten dollars to $12,000. Mark my words, write it down. You heard it from Ripple Airwinkle. It is going to ten to twelve thousand dollars. Currently down seven point four two percent in the past twenty four hours. Ethereum is back hovering above a thousand, coming in at one thousand and twenty two dollars. It is currently down eight point three nine percent in the past twenty four hours. As XRP is gaining strength and building momentum, thirty two cents. It's only down three point four nine percent in the past twenty four hours. Here's the beauty of all this: as Bitcoin and Ethereum struggle and go down, XRP is gaining and slowly breaking away from both of those two how interesting is that folks very interesting total cryptocurrency market 865 billion nowhere near the 2.3 trillion that we were used to but don't you worry because next time we're talking about trillions we're going to be closer to the four to five trillion dollar range for the cryptocurrency market bitcoin dominance 41.46 percent now let's move on over to this because i like this and that's what we just talked about btc is going down while xrp is going up oh yeah baby that is what i'm talking about that's what we want to see folks it's a little scary out there xrp is holding this 30 cent range quite well i must add stellar xlm is holding its little 10 11 cent range quite well is it going to go down? Time will tell. I mean, I do think we get a dip. Nothing crazy. People saying XRP is going to die. It's not dying. It's not going anywhere. Maybe we touch 25 cents. Maybe you get 20 cents if you're lucky. whoop de doo Because what's going to happen is the lawsuit's going to come to an end. XRP is going to get clarity within the United States. The institutional money is going to flood the market. They're going to be buying up XRP by the storm. They're going to be marketing to all their clients. This thing is running to double digits. Next thing you know, we're all sitting back, relaxing, kicking it back on an island. Maybe we saw in Vegas and make our way down to Mexico. I don't know. A lot is going on, folks. Now we head over to this. My man Pop, who remembers this quote, this is from 2017. If you think Bitcoin went on the tear once, CNBC and institutional investors learned about it. Just wait till they discover X. R P Pop will never ever let this down. He knows what he said. You just wait because the moment is not here just yet. You want to know why it's not here just yet? Because we're waiting for this lawsuit to come to an end and end the floodgates. You let the floodgates resume, folks. But I gotta show you this clip. I just had to show this to you. It's kind of funny. Listen. What <laughs> So Rocket ship, get on board. So why is <laughs> I just I had to. Come on. If that if you don't think that's funny, you've been in crypto too long. Because that is absolutely hysterical. Now let's get over to this. Jed McKell is bouncing. I'm gonna refresh in a real time and show you what's going on. 74 million folks. I don't see anything going on today. Maybe, you know, maybe he's uh maybe he's taking a nap. He could be taking a nap, so we didn't sell yet, right? Possible. Still early. We got six hours. I hope we don't get a big fat zero. I hope we don't get that trend where it goes two to three weeks of just zeros. 
Keep selling, man. 13 days. You're so close. But come on. You know it's going to be a rocky road with him. You know that he wasn't just going to go out quietly and in two weeks like everything's projected. He's probably sitting there getting, laughing at everyone, keeping everyone on their toes. Now we move over to this. Digital Pound Foundation, pay attention. Look who they're in cooperation with, Ripple. There's a reason that the Digital Pound Foundation is in cooperation with Ripple. It says next week's webinar, fungibility and interoperability in the digital money ecosystem co-hosted with the Digital Euro in association with Ripple and the CBDC think tank. Folks, oh, central bank digital currency, Ripple, the ledger, it's all the money and it is coming to an XRP ledger near you. Write that down as well. Then I put this out. I said, well, XRP hit $5 by the end of 2023. A lot of people gave it the old heart, which means yes. I think it's going now. I think it's going to hit it before then. What do you think? I want to know. Let me know. I think it's going to destroy that. Now, I showed you this clip from Weezy. I actually did a video about it. Joseph Grunford's telling you that Bitcoin is going to get destroyed. Bitcoin's going to blow up. Well, I want to pull this in because Colin Grady put this article out. He stated, let me blow it up. This article is from March 4th, 2021 from the Senate Banking Committee questioning Gensler's nomination. Gensler made the point clear. The courts had helped define that it's the investor community that gets to decide what, what's material to them. So release the Hinman emails. Let them loose. Let them go. We know what happened there. It's no secret. The judge is giving the SEC every chance to try to save face. The SEC seems like they're fighting it. They don't want to save face. At the end of the day, listen, a lot of corruption, a lot of manipulation going on there. It's that simple. There's no way to beat around the bush here. Then to wrap the comment, put this out. Let me grab a sip of water too. Ripple's partner. Fleet Corps, CorePay, Cross Border has partnered with Triterus to utilize CorePay's innovative solutions to help migrate foreign exchange and exposure for the day-to-day -day business needs. He says no DLT was mentioned. Tiretis is located in Singapore and Dubai. We know about the work that Ripple has done in Singapore and Dubai, especially with central banks, especially with the regulators in those two areas. So no DLTs mentioned. Is this a game changer, a game killer? Are they going to use XRP? That's the question everyone wants to know. I firmly believe all these companies that are doing business with Ripple at some point will get on the train and they will use XRP or they will use the central bank digital currency that is in their country by the CBDC, obviously, that will be bridging money in and out of the country via XRP. Here's the article, talks about Fleet Corps, talks about what they're trying to do here, talks about their platform. Awesome. And we know about foreign exchange. We know about Ripple's time with foreign exchange. We know how XRP can work with these foreign exchange markets and really help lower the cost. Well, I want to date back to this article. This is from Fleet Corps. And this is from 2018, folks, four years ago, when a team dealt with Ripple to modernize payments using blockchain. Interesting, right? Very interesting because you're starting, to, you're starting to see a lot of things come together now. You're starting to see this partner step out. You're starting to see them get involved with different areas in the field. And why do you think that is? Well, the reason it is, is because they realize the power of the ledger and the power of XRP, the token, and what it can do and what it can help them do, right? So perfect example. I'm going to put this in layman's terms right here. You have a company. You need to tie up $100,000 a year in this company to help to help pay your shipping fees or to help pay your your cross border shipping fees, right? You know it's going to take it's going to cost you this much money to get them across. You need to save that money. Now you just found out that you can reduce that by 90%. What do you do with all that extra money that you just got into your pocket? You all you have two options. The founders, the owners, they take a fat pay cut or paycheck, right? And they line their wallets or they go out and they get into a different area, a different avenue of the business and they make even more money. That's what they're starting to realize, folks, the power of the ledger. And then Michael at Bow Five Links puts this out, XRP ledger reaches a significant development threshold. Here are the details. The tweet came out from Nick B. The article says, 
The server software that powers the XRP ledger is called Ripple and is available in a repository under the permissive ISC open source license. Ripple and its engineers have been caretakers of and contributors to the C++ reference implementation of the XRP ledger protocol code base for the past decade. But now the authoritative repo for the code is under the XRP ledger foundation. Folks, big, big. The XRPL employees a consensus protocol in contrast to other blockchains, whereby selected servers known as validators agree on the sequence and conclusion of XRP transactions every three to five seconds. The wide range of validators for XRPL helps to guarantee its long-term hearth and consensus among various market participants for Safeguard XRP Ledger. To safeguard the XRP Ledger, excuse me. Ripple recently announced the central bank digital currency innovative challenge with a total prize pool of almost 200k. The Ripple central bank digital currency innovative challenge aims to inspire programmers to create applications capable of running on the XRP ledger and supporting retail central bank digital currencies, interoperability, and financial inclusion. The first round is closing in August of 2025. Folks, this is all fantastic news. This is all great news. Go check out Nick's tweet. This is what we want to see. Development, code takeover, CBDC innovative challenge, new partners, new avenues, new markets, foreign exchange, all the money, people. That is what the XRP ledger will power. That's where I'm going to leave this. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.